Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to Fintech Monthly for October 2016, your monthly roundup of the top financial technology news. We're filming from the Commonwealth Bank of Australia's London Innovation Lab. London-based SME lender iWalker closed an impressive £21 million Series C round led by Prime Ventures. iWalker plans to use the funds to keep developing its data platform, expand across Europe and secure new partnerships. Air, a London-based credit score provider for those without a credit history, announced the closure of a £2 million round. The startup is also now regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Payment solutions firm Verifone has partnered with Alipay, the top Chinese mobile payments provider. The partnership will allow Alipay to expand its mobile payment app service to the US, enabling Chinese consumers to pay with the app when travelling in the States. Back here in the UK, Theresa May ordered a review of employment practices, which could have a significant impact on the UK fintech sector. This is because many companies in the space make use of the so-called gig economy. Jonathan Chamberlain from Gowling WLG is here to tell us more. In the UK we have the great advantage of all sorts of ways in which to hire people's services. We can hire them full-time, part-time, we can use zero-hours contracts, we can give them equity-based incentives, we can offer unpaid internships. Other European countries struggle to fit these into their legal and regulatory models. But the UK gig economy, as it's called, is under threat. Not only have we had the announcement of the recent Theresa May review, but last week the judgment came out in the Uber case, which held their drivers to be workers for the purposes of employment law. Tech professionals are often happy to work flexibly or even for free at startups on the promise of future reward of equity. And with Brexit fast approaching, UK startups need every advantage available to persuade overseas nationals not just to work for them, but to invest in them. New figures show over £300 million has been sent using PayM. The UK mobile payment service enables people to send and receive funds straight to a current account using just a mobile number. Over 5.8 million transactions have been made using the service since it launched in 2014. The US Consumer Finance Agency released a report on consumer-friendly fintech products, marking the agency's first overview of the rapidly expanding industry. The report outlined the types of fintech products and services that it would encourage, with a particular focus on those that can help consumers who don't have bank accounts. Fintech Innovators, a collaboration between H2 Ventures and KPMG Fintech, has published its Fintech 100 list for 2016. The report found the UK is second only to the US, with UK fintech firms occupying 13 of the top 100 spots. The UK also holds a spot in the top 10, with Atom Bank coming in sixth. That's all for this month's roundup. Visit our FinTech News Channel for more and subscribe now to receive future FinTech monthly videos straight to your inbox.